lesson has to deal with the price tag of leadership, which is self-discipline. When people ask me, and they do in Q&A all the time, John, what is your greatest leadership challenge? I always give the same answer. My greatest leadership challenge is leading me. That's my biggest problem. My biggest leadership problem is John Maxwell. Yeah, leading me. See, it's much easier to lead you. My gosh, I'm teaching you these lessons on developing the leader with you. It's so easy to lay out these thoughts, these ideas, give you these steps to do it. It's so good. And, and, and then when I'm done, I leave you. It's just wonderful. Good luck. See, it's easier to teach what I know than it is to live what I know. Teaching is easy. Living it is more difficult. And that's where self-discipline comes into play. In my book, Intentional Living, and when I teach it, one of the things I do for people is I give them a visual. And this is a visual that works for intentional living, but it's a terrific visual for self-discipline. I always do this. Because what I want you to know, what I want to know, what I want to know, is that everything worthwhile is uphill. Everything. There is nothing in your life, there is nothing in my life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. It's all uphill. You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. It doesn't come to you. It's not in three easy packages and it's not the cure to overnight success. It's like one guy said, all my life I've worked hard at being an overnight success. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Now the problem is we have downhill habits. Now if you have downhill habits and you have uphill hopes, you're in trouble. And the only way that you go uphill is by self-discipline. So listen to me very carefully. It's an impossible for you to have continuous success without having self-discipline in your life. Impossible. And my greatest challenge as a leader is your greatest challenge as a leader. And that is every day keeping people climbing. Because they don't want to climb. They want to coast to success. Huh? Are you with me? They want it to come to them. They treat it like the lottery. And they just kind of hope that if they're at the right place at the right time, something wonderful will happen to them. It won't. Everything worthwhile is uphill. All the way, all the way, not not partially uphill. And, and and the challenge that we all have is we don't mind climbing uphill for three or four days, as long as we can coast for a couple. I just I deserve a break. I deserve a break. I deserve a break. See what you don't understand is four days of climbing is wiped out with one day of coasting, and you're back to the same place that you were. And you wonder why you're not being successful? It's faster downhill than it is uphill. It's easier downhill than it is uphill. It's quicker downhill than it is uphill. And so what happens is, we have a lot of good uphill days, but we have a few downhill days, and the few downhill days cancel out all the uphill days. So people ask me all the time, they'll say, uh, are, are you writing another book? Yeah. I'm always writing another book. In fact, I'm always writing three books. I'm creating one, writing one, and finishing one. Well, do you do that all the time? Every day. Honest to God, I've never had a book write itself. It would be nice if I can figure it out. I'm going to buy into that program. No, I've got to write every one of those suckers. 
And I love people say, well, how do you do that? With a legal pad and a pen. One word at a time. Hmm? Well, what's your secret? Every day. Every day. Now, self-discipline, the first thing it does is it enables you to go uphill. You can't go uphill without self-discipline. Nobody will carry you uphill. Nobody can coach you uphill. Nobody can push you uphill. If you go uphill, you got to do it yourself. There are no free rides uphill. There's no such thing as accidental achievements. It's the bridge. Self-discipline is the bridge between good intentions and good actions. Good intentions is on one side of the water and good actions is on the other side. And the bridge is self-discipline that takes our good intentions and turns them into good actions. And, and the question is, is my attitude about self-discipline, is it a tunnel or is it a bridge? If it's a tunnel, then self-discipline is heavy because it's always about what I'm going through. Well, I'm going through this. Well, I'm going through this. I'm going through. There's a difference between going through something and going to something. When you're going to something, you're on the bridge. When you're going through something, you're on the end of the tunnel, in a tunnel, hoping there's some light at the end of the tunnel. So if self-discipline is a heavy thing for you, it's a hard thing for you. But if self-discipline is a journey for you, it's easier for you. Is it a bridge or is it a tunnel? Am I going through it? Oh, I hope I get there. Or am I going to it? Secondly, self-discipline is the difference between temporary success and sustained success. Because the uphill journey is all the way. You don't get flat land and you don't get down land. You, it's just all up land. And so the core of all success, the core of all success principles is the core of it is self-discipline. Most people want what I call a quick fix. Okay, John, okay, okay, talk to me, talk to me. Help me out here, what, what's the quickest way for me <laughs> to be very wealthy, highly influential, and very successful in life? Just, you know, just cut out the, just give me the, just straight, quick, fast, easy way. There's no such thing, it's uphill all the way. And self-discipline is the vehicle that gets you there. 